Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, the God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of the God of Jacob, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the God who died and rose again on the third day triumphantly and ascended far above principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places, the God that sits upon the throne and intercedes for the body of Christ and the church of the living God and the saints of God. Hallelujah. Greetings to you all in his name this morning. This is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries in Boramwood, Hertfordshire. May the Lord God Almighty bless you and may the glory of the Lord uh, locate you wherever you are this morning. May the hand of God, the hand of miracles, the supernatural hand of God, the mighty hand of God that delivered the Israelites from the hands of the Egyptians, uh, the God uh, that took the Israelites uh, through the wilderness and brought them out of Egypt, crossed through the Red Sea and brought them into a land that flows with milk and honey. May this God favor you this morning and may he release restoration upon your life. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are this morning, I believe and trust the Almighty God that there is no distance in the spirit. uh, There is no barriers and there is no limitations when it comes to the power of God and the spirit of God. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that as I minister to you this morning, wherever you are, God's spirit will touch you. The Lord God will lift you up. Whatever predicament, adversity, trials, battles, warfare, and all the attacks of the enemy and the things that are coming at us even in this dispensation as people of God and sons and daughters of God I believe that God will lift us out of it all for many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivered him out of them all he kept all his bones and not even one of them are broken I came to declare to you that the God that we serve is the God of all protection and preservation and his hand is mightily upon us and in this month as we come closer to the end of this month restoration will be manifested in our lives in the name of Jesus and so this morning by the grace of God I have the privilege once again for the morning glory word of exhortation message encounter and I believe that God's power will touch you wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus and today by the grace of God I continue my message and I've titled my message be fully persuaded persuasion unlocks divine restoration Persuasion unlocks divine restoration. Hallelujah. We are in our lives. We need to come to the place of being fully persuaded that what God has said, as he has promised that he will restore us, we need to have strong conviction and we need to be fully persuaded that God is able to bring to pass the things that he has said every area of our lives that God wants to restore, when we become fully persuaded, He will bring all things to divine alignment in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord bless you. So today, by the grace of God, this is my message. Being fully persuaded. Persuasion unlocks divine restoration. We can read that from the book of Romans chapter number 4, reading from the verse number 19 through to the verse number 22. Praise be to God forevermore. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you this morning for the spirit of life and the gift of life that you have given us. For in you we live and move and have our being. Thank you, Almighty God, for protecting us and bringing us back to life. We have the privilege to hear your word this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Holy Spirit, unravel the mysteries of your word unto us. And let your word bring deliverance, salvation, emancipation, restoration, even unto restitution in every area and dimension 
of our lives in jesus precious name i pray with thanksgiving i pray that father that by the end of this message let many lives be touched transformed empowered and revived i pray that you will speak through me as the oracles of heaven that i will release your now word your wedding season for us in jesus mighty name amen and amen people of god the lord bless you all once again persuasion unlocks divine restoration book of romans chapter number four reading from the verse number 19 through to the verse number 22 let's hear the word of the living god hallelujah the bible says that and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb hallelujah and the bible continues he said he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith and the bible says that he was strong in faith giving glory to god and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able to perform it and therefore it was imputed unto him for righteousness hallelujah Praise be to God forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless the word of God. And may his word be manifested in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. People of God, this is the word of the Lord for us. This account of this text in chapter 4 of Romans, it talks about Abraham. Abraham, the father of many nations. Abraham, the friend of God. Abraham, God loved Abraham because Abraham was obedient unto him. Abraham was justified by faith. Everything about Abraham was being justified through faith that he had in God. And so that is why Abraham became the father of many nations. He became the friend of God. And through the Abrahamic Abrahamic obedience and the Abrahamic covenant that Abraham had with God, we all have been counted as righteous as the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. I pray for you and I, may our faith uh, ah, that is connected with the Abrahamic covenant justify us all in this season of our lives in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says that Abraham was being justified by faith and Abraham became a friend of God through obedience. And Abraham obeyed and trusted God and believed God that God will give him a child. He had believed God for many, many years until the child came. Abraham was still believing God through strong faith. And the Bible says in the verse 19, when it came to the time that the child was not coming, although he and the wife was still believing in God, the Bible says that, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead because Abraham was old and he was even about a hundred years old. And you and I know that when a man grows to that age, it is very, very difficult for a man to have a child. Medically proven, there is no way that Abraham can have a child at the age of hundred years. But the Bible says that, and be not weak in faith. So his faith was not weak. He had strong faith in God. You and I in this dispensation, God is counting on us for us to have strong faith in him. It does not matter what we are going through. It does not matter what is happening in this dispensation. It does not matter the chaos and all the things we are hearing in the news and all the things that are happening around us. For the Bible says that for the just shall live by faith. We need to be fully persuaded that the God that we serve is able to turn all situations around. I don't know what you are going through this morning and I don't know what is happening to you this morning. But I believe in God by faith that if you will come to the place uh, of strong faith in God, like Abraham, and the Bible says that even he was not weak in faith, and he considered not his own body as dead. I don't know what is dead inside your life. I don't know what is dead inside your visions, your dreams, your aspirations, uh, uh, your, your mandate, your purpose, your assignment, your calling, your giftings, your, your potential, everything that God has invested in you. Uh, I don't know what is happening to it. 
what is making it to look dead. But I came to declare to you, if you have strong faith in God, if you will be fully persuaded upon everything that God has spoken concerning your life, heavens will be unlocked. Restoration will come to you in the name of Jesus. People of God, we have come to the dispensation that we have to only listen to God rather than man. Jesus said, we have made the word of God of none effect because of the traditions of men. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus, uh, may our traditions, uh, may the things that we see around us not take away from God. Take us away from God. May the things that we are seeing, uh, may it not fully take us away from our visions and our faith and our trust in Jehovah Lord God Almighty. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the spirit of persuasion be released mightily upon you. May the spirit and the power of persuasion be injected in your spiritual DNA. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People of God, being fully persuaded means that you have strong faith in God. Being fully persuaded means that the conviction in your heart and in your spirit are upon the promises of God that is yea and amen in your life. Nothing can wither you. Nothing can waver you than only God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will become fully persuaded. And so the Bible says that Abraham did not stagger in faith. And he continues in the book, uh, book of Romans chapter 4 verse 20. He said, And he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Being fully persuaded means that we believe God. We trust in God. We have faith in God. And the Bible says that he did not stagger. He did not waver. There was no unbelief. Although he was old, he still had strong faith in God. He was fully persuaded that God is able, that for which he has promised, he will surely bring it to pass. You see, people of God, in this our dispensation, we always want to see God acting, God bringing the things that we want in our lives. We always want to see it rather than us believing in God and having strong faith in God. But we have come to the dispensation that God is looking for people who are radical, people who are resolute, people who are tenacious. When it comes to the things of God, God is looking for people who don't even want to see God acting, but they only believe that God is able to do all things. That is the stage and that is the dispensation that God is bringing us to. It is coming to a time of our lives uh, that we don't need to believe the acts of God anymore. We only have to hold on uh, on the everlasting hands of God and being fully persuaded with all things that God who has spoken is well able to perform it. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, and I prophesy over your life, uh, may nothing in this world draw you out of the promises of God. May nothing in this world take your faith and your confidence in God and your trust in God. May you only be persuaded, fully persuaded that what God has promised he is able to deliver and he will bring it to pass and restoration will be your portion. So the Bible says uh, that but he was strong in faith giving glory to God. We need to come to the place of giving glory to God. In whatever circumstances that we find ourselves in, God is counting on us to give him glory. It is at the place of being fully persuaded and giving glory to God that unlocks the heaven for restoration to be manifested upon our lives in every area and dimension and facets of our life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, may the Lord God release uh, the spirit of gratitude, the spirit of thanksgiving, the spirit of praise, the spirit of prayer upon us that we may come to the place of giving glory to God at all times for all things that he has proclaimed and, and, and spoken over our lives. He is well able to bring it to pass. And the Bible says in the verse 21, and being fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was also able to perform it. People of God, Abraham was fully persuaded and God is counting on us to come to the place of persuasion. Persuasion is Believing and trusting in God. Persuasion is having strong conviction, having strong faith in God. Persuasion is we coming to the place 
of believing in God, nothing wavering us, nothing can waver us. That is persuasion. When we make our minds that we believe in God, nothing can waver us from God, from believing in the Almighty God. I pray in the name of Jesus, may this grace abound on us. May this grace be multiplied upon us mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe that shout, I believe I receive. Grace and greater grace is coming upon you to come to the place of persuasion. Being strong in God, having strong faith in God. Hallelujah. That is where God is calling us to. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible continues in the last verse. He said, And therefore it was imputed unto him for us righteousness. It was imputed unto Abraham because he was fully persuaded. He was strong in God. He was having strong faith in God. He did not waver. He did not stagger at the promise of God. He believed that what God has said no matter what, how long it was, it was taking, he was still strong in God and he knew that God would do it. And God did it. And the Bible says that it was accounted and imputed unto him as righteousness. Beloved, when we become pers fully persuaded in God, God doesn't see us as unrighteous anymore. He sees us as righteous, the righteousness of God. And everything that we do, God has no obligation but for to answer us and for him to release restoration upon our lives. May that be our portion in this season of our lives in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Coming to this place of being fully persuaded will unlock the unevitable blessings and restoration grace of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, share this word. Propagate and evangelize this word. Spread this word to as many people. That it will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to them. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. Father, thank you for this word that has come. I trust and I believe that you will lift us up to the place of persuasion being fully persuaded in you having strong faith and trust and confidence in you that will unlock our restoration unto us and i pray that you your grace will come upon your people father help us all that we will come to the place of strong faith in you that nothing will waver us from the things that you are speaking concerning our lives i pray in the name of jesus let grace abound on us that let us come to the place of being fully persuaded that for which you that you have spoken will manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. We believe and trust in you that as your word has come to us and as we become fully persuaded in you, we will receive the promises of God that is yea and amen over our lives. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, this morning, touch your people, heal the sick, set the captives free, break the yokes the satanic yokes against your people. I command it to be broken. In the name of Jesus, Father, touch your people. Let them become fully persuaded in you. And heal their bodies. Set them free. Bring them to their place of restoration and deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord God Almighty bless you. Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus. That when we become fully persuaded in the Lord God Almighty, having strong faith in Him, restoration will be manifested upon our lives in jesus precious name amen and amen the lord bless you shalom peace from god the father hallelujah